In today's video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to stabilize your own footage within DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump in. Once we're in a fresh DaVinci Resolve project, the first thing we want to do is drop our shaky video clip into the timeline. Now that our clip is in the timeline, we can give it a click, then head over to the Inspector tool to open the stabilization options. Now we have three different stabilization modes to choose from. Perspective mode is the most comprehensive stabilization mode in Resolve and addresses X and Y positions as well as correcting changes in zoom and perspective. If your footage requires heavier stabilization, then I'd suggest using the similarity mode as this mode just affects the X and Y position along with zoom, but not the perspective of the shot, meaning less warping usually occurs. We also have translation mode, which just affects the X and Y position. However, I find this mode doesn't tend to work as well as the other two options, but it can be trial and error sometimes, so feel free to test each mode for yourself. Once we have the mode selected, we can also see some more options to further refine our stabilization if we wish to do so. But generally, the default options will do the trick. Once we're all happy with our settings, we can simply click the stabilize button here and Resolve will work its magic to stabilize our footage. If we play our clip through, we can see the translation mode has somewhat stabilized our footage, but it's caused some strange warping in certain areas. I'm going to reset the stabilization just by clicking the redo button on the stabilization tab, and I'll try again with the perspective mode selected. If we play the clip through now, we can see the perspective mode has done a much better job without causing any unnatural warping on our footage. Again, this depends on the amount of shake on your own footage, so do feel free to experiment with these different modes. You may have noticed the stabilization tool has scaled into our footage slightly. This is because we have the zoom box here ticked, which crops out any black edges around our footage created from the stabilization tool doing the magic. If we reset the clip, untick zoom and stabilize the footage again, we can see that the clip hasn't been scaled in, but we do see these shaky black borders around the edge of our footage. Because of this, I would generally recommend that you keep the zoom box ticked to prevent this happening. Once you're all happy with your stabilization, you can either export your clip out using the quick export button at the top here, or feel free to use the clip within your wider Resolve edit. And there you have it, that's how you can easily stabilize your own video clips using DaVinci Resolve. If you're looking for the next best thing to polish and perfect your content, then do make sure you check out videos. Videos is the online video creation tool that can create you anything from lower thirds to transitions to full-on marketing videos. Just follow the link below to find out more, and you can also try videos today absolutely free. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, happy creating.